Over one million species are threatened with extinction as of today. One million species. One may think, so what? Animals go extinct all the time. But we have to think about the bigger picture. A mass extinction like this will gravely impact our ecosystem, and we are already seeing catastrophic effects as a result. When one species goes extinct, that doesn't simply mean that just one disappears. Every species has a unique function in its ecosystem, and its loss can prompt a domino effect through the food chain. In this video, let's delve into specific cases and their consequences. Please check out my other video about the animals that went extinct recently, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's talk about the decreasing population of bees. This is such a huge problem that it actually needs a video of its own. Bees are one of the most efficient and effective pollinators. Life on Earth as it is today would not exist without bees. Without bees, there will be a food crisis for humanity. The fruits and vegetables that rely heavily on pollination will decrease dramatically, and the prices of produce will skyrocket, which has already started happening. As the prices increase, people will not be able to afford the products and will have to rely on junk food, which can add to the already existing health problems in many countries. The dairy farm and the cattle farm will also face consequences, as the bees need to pollinate their food too. In return, the cost of dairy and meat will increase even further, and more people will suffer from malnutrition. Losing such powerful pollinators doesn't just affect humans; all the other species that rely on the plants that the bees pollinate will be affected as well. We could talk about bees all day, but let's move on to another species to learn about the cascading effects of an extinction. Many bat species are also facing extinction, mainly due to human activities. When they are left alone, they are harmless little creatures, and they are hugely beneficial. Did you know that bats are the primary controllers of huge numbers of insect pests? According to Merlin Tuttle's Bat Conservation, insect-eating bats save farmers approximately $23 billion in annual agricultural losses in the U.S. alone. Just one bat can get rid of 1,000 mosquitoes in an hour, and that's good news because mosquitoes can transmit all kinds of viruses. And to be honest, they're just annoying. Like bees, bats are excellent pollinators, and they can carry seeds for countless numbers of important plants, like mangoes, peaches, and guavas, just to name a few. From cactus plants in South America to baobab trees in Africa, thousands of species rely on bats for pollination. Without bats, their ecosystems will fail as plants will no longer flourish to provide for wildlife species. As the plants die, humans will suffer from lack of food to dying forests, and the world will be flooded with insects like mosquitoes. Gray wolves of Yellowstone were hunted to near extinction by 1930. They were hunted mercilessly, and wiping out an apex predator in the region turned out to be a huge mistake. For about 70 years, Yellowstone suffered disastrous consequences. With no predators, elk overgrazed the land and decimated willows and aspens. Without those trees, songbirds and other birds began to disappear, which allowed mosquitoes and other pests to multiply. As a huge number of elk population fed on the vegetation of the park, beavers who also needed to feed on the vegetation began to disappear. Beavers could no longer build dams, which meant that the streams began to erode, which further affected the chance for willow trees to grow. Thankfully, the disastrous consequence was detected before the wolves were driven to extinction, and they were reintroduced to Yellowstone and are now closely monitored. Reintroduction helped rebalance the elk population, which is restoring the park in many areas. California sea otters were nearly wiped out by the early 1900s, mainly due to hunting, and a significant decrease in population shook up its ecosystem. 
California sea otters eat the purple sea urchins that feed on giant kelp, and without sea otters, the urchins began feasting on the kelp forests. I should note how important kelp forests are. They are vital to the coastal ecosystem because they provide habitat for many other species and protect the coastline from storm surges. They are also excellent at absorbing carbon dioxide. But without the otters, the sea urchin population exploded and significantly damaged the kelp ecosystem. Now, let's take a look at what happened when wildebeest and buffalo in East Africa were wiped out due to an infectious virus, rinderpest. These plant-eating animals control the vegetation growth in the area. However, when the population of these animals dropped significantly, the vegetation took over. Of course, this overabundance of vegetation prompted an increase in wildfires during the dry season. Thankfully, vaccinations eliminated were in the pest, and the wildebeest and buffalo returned. And finally, the ecosystem was stabilized. Decline of apex species, who are the predators at the top of the food chain, has a massive impact in the ecosystem, and that's why sharks should not be left out in this video. They are currently under threat because of us humans, of course. Due to overfishing, pollution, and the warming ocean, sharks are disappearing quickly. But did you know that without sharks, our whole marine ecosystem could fall out of balance? Sharks maintain the species below them in the food chain, which is vital for ocean health. They indirectly control the sea grass and coral reefs at the bottom of the food chain as well. The loss of sharks means the number of large predatory fish that fall under shark food chain will increase. These fish will prey on the herbivores, and as the number of herbivores decline, algae will dominate over coral reefs and sea grass. Once the sea grass and coral reef habitats are destroyed, countless marine animals that depend on those habitats, like dugongs, sea turtles, crabs, shrimp. And many kinds of fish will also disappear. Seagrass and coral reefs play a massive role in reducing carbon dioxide and producing oxygen. So without them, living things would not be able to survive. Do you see how one species such as a shark can shake up the whole world? More and more people should be aware of the environmental changes that we are facing. There are many ways people like us can help the Earth. Don't ever think that you cannot make a change. Every person matters, and every action matters. Together, we can make an impact that can reverse the damage that we've caused. Thanks for watching, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. In my next video, I'd like to talk about all the things we can do to protect our environment. Have a fantastic day!